Hello everyone and welcome back to the Mangle Nerdy channel. I'm Miss Mangle and today we are reviewing Frozen 2. Woohoo! Okay guys, so honestly as a parent this film was great to watch with my little ones. They absolutely enjoyed it. As far as films go, this film balances on the line of Disney direct-to-film sequels um, for me. But saying that in the same sentence, it's uh, it was visually beautiful, and the voice work was very um, was very amazing in this. It, it was just gorgeously done as far as that goes. Having harnessed her ever growing power after lifting the dreadful curse of the eternal winter in Frozen, Queen Elsa now rules the peaceful kingdom of Arendelle, enjoying a happy life with her sister, Princess Anna. A melodic voice that only Elsa can hear keeps her awake, inviting her to the mystical enchanted forest that the sister's father told them about long ago. Now unable to block the thrilling call of the secret siren, Elsa, along with Anna, Kristoff, Olaf, and Sven, summons up the courage to follow the voice into the unknown. Intent on finding answers in the perpetual mist realm in the woods. An unexplicable imbalance is hurting not only her kingdom, but also the neighboring tribe of the North Northaldra. Elsa puts her legendary magical skills to good use to restore peace and stability to the land. Okay, guys, and now to my final thoughts on this film. I, like I said in the intro, I'm on the fence about this film. Some parts that, some of the parts that got me was how they they didn't it really explain certain aspects of the movie. Like, why didn't the spirits just break down the dam? Like, why did it, if they were so angry at Arendelle, why did they, did it take having to, for Aunt Anna to have to run across it for them to break down the dam? Um, other, my other question is, is why is when Elsa goes to the glacier, why is the siren call, why is that her mother's voice? Is it some sort of underlining magic? Like, is it, is it like a protection thing? Like, it doesn't really explain it. It shows it visually, but it just doesn't like, it, it just seems like bits and pieces are missing or something, something's missing. Like there's something missing from the story that I just don't fully, that I would love to know more about. And another thing that kind of got me was how they um, alluded to the fire spirit being a person. And then it turns out to be a cute little gecko, which granted the cute little gecko, he's adorable. Like he, he's the cute, one of the cutest things. And the water, the, the water spirit, that was just cool how she rode across the lake, that visually was just beautiful. Um, some some of the other things that I just kind of found were just a little too much was the, the 80s style, like, Kristoff singing moment when the girls took off without him. Like, that, that was just not needed. That was not necessary at all. Um, I think they could have left without the cheese and just Kristoff's character in general. It was like, it, it just didn't make sense. Like they could have left Kristoff out of the movie and it would have been fine. Cause all he did the whole time was just ask, try to ask her out to, to marry him. And it's like, no, they turned him into a side character, almost like Olaf, which in the beginning first film, he was more the main strong care you know this time it just made him seem more goofy it regressed his character i didn't like that at all um and speaking of regression in certain in certain aspects elsa regressed backwards obviously she didn't learn her lesson the first time and ran off you know to towards this spirit excuse me my nose towards the spirit and um what like didn't you learn your lesson the first time running off all upset? 
you know, to go do this. I know this time was, it was, they were going for a journey for an epic grand adventure, but it was just, it, it was almost like cut and paste of certain things from the last movie that, uh, but overall it was a visually beautiful. I loved how they took some aspects of like mythology and they used it. It was really cool to see. Um, and I liked how they represented the spirits and everything. It was a really neat aspect of that. Um, and the the visuals were phenomenal. The the voice voice actors with the singing were phenomenal. Granted, Kristoff's 80s singing theme was just crazy, but his voice in it was really good. Like, if that makes any sense. But um, and it had a good message at the end, you know, love heals all like before. Um, it, it just, it could have been, you know, like I said, teeter on the line of Disney sequel direct to, to film kind of thing. I don't think, I don't know. It just was not what I was expecting from it. I, and, and the story was squished. I, I don't understand but um, at the same time, it was a genuinely good watch. Um, a lot of those films that are direct to sequel are really good watches. You know, they, they're good films. They're just not to par with the original. And that's what I'm thinking. Now, the, the new songs, the new soundtracks, everything else, all the little other details were amazing in this. But it was just like the story was lacking and the characters regressed backwards. So I don't understand. But anyways, guys, what are your guys' thoughts on this? Did you genuinely like this? Um, were you guys kind of eh like I was? Please leave a comment in the comments down below. And like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the little bell to get notified of my videos. Anyways, guys, this is Miss Mangle with the Mangle Nerdy channel. You guys be you, be nerdy. Have an awesome day. Bye.